Hey, it's Tommy from Mix 107.3. I'm really excited backstage at the Warner Theater because tonight is the night. Anthony Bourdain, Eric Repair. It's very cool because, you know, since, since I'm the star of this show, it's really starring Tommy. They've given me my very own dressing room, which I find really... Uh, Hi, guys. I asked for the room draped in white with white flowers. <laughs> Only white. What color is this? That's not white. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean it, sir. I mean, is I everything else you're liking? It was the caviar and champagne you promised. Uh, they didn't. Mr. They, Mr. Repair can't, can't live with this. What's going to happen today? What, are, what can we experience on stage? What's going to. That's a good question for you, right? I'm supposed to figure it out? <laughs> I, I we were waiting so. to ask you that. Maybe Tony has a solution. I don't know. I was planning on reciting a prose version of Mr. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, writing down my notes, adding to the notes that they gave me, and hopefully not going to make it out of myself on stage in front of Eric and Tony. I call him Tony now. We're homeboys. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> and Eric Prepare. <laughs> Welcome to Washington. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Who's been to Eric's place, West End Bistro? <laughs> so what does repair pick you up in? Does he, does he drive his own car? Is it a Vespa? You know, how do you get picked up by... <laughs> uh, repair rolls well, man. So you have a big black car with a driver up front, a lot of room in the back, bottle of fuel, generally a vintage crude uh, kicking around back there, <laughs> can of fish eggs, wide screen TV. Wide screen TV. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a, this has been a very uh, convenient friendship for me. He's very, <laughs> He's very creative, yeah. Very creative. New York Times in the back of the car, or what do you read when, you, when you're driving around in your car? I don't know how to read English. What? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? No, I do, of course. <laughs> He's like one of the song. diplomats who pretend, you pretend like they don't know English. I want to read about that Kate Gosselin and those nasty housewives. <laughs> Well, I, I want to talk about your recent quote in the New York Times, where you said that everybody tokes up after work. Gee, there's a big breaking news story. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys were walking off. What'd you think of it out there, DC? I thought it was a really great crowd. I mean, uh, generally Friday, Friday, Saturday nights are crowded. There's no restaurant people. The restaurant people have a really hard time coming, and that's always kind of a traditional home team, I'm guessing, for us. They were like, you know, they were smart questions. Absolutely. Tough questions. Tough questions. Um, I recognize some of, some cooks actually from the Ritz Carlton. Okay. Um, you didn't make them pay, did you? You, you got the tickets. I got right? the tickets. <laughs> Can we talk about this? The Marine Corps. It's, uh, it's, the, it's the Beirut mission. Yeah. U.S. Marine Corps. Very, very cool. These are the guys who got me out. All right, man. Well, see you at the after party. See you at the after party for sure. Fire up the hookah. Let's do it.